Hello you guys and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be diving into everything coquette. And while the word coquette can simply mean a woman who flirts, it's also a style slash aesthetic that has gained popularity through Instagram and mostly TikTok. But you're probably here because you too want to get into this coquette aesthetic. So in order to appreciate coquette for all it is, we have to dive a little deeper into the history and becoming of this aesthetic. But but don't worry you guys, we'll get into the wardrobe, the hair, and the makeup, and the lifestyle soon. So unfortunately, Coquette has a very dark history that starts with Lolita, a book by a Russian-American novelist. Lolita is basically a story about a little girl, Lolita, and her abuser. And for fewer YouTube guidelines, um, I'm not going to get too into this story, but feel free to research it on your own. Um, but of course, trigger warning that this book does talk about sexual abuse. Anyways though, um, in the 90s to early 2000s, a Japanese subculture called Lolita took inspiration from this book character, and Lolita styles also took inspiration from other like kawaii styles in Japan, like like doll styles from the 1970s and then on. But a lot of aspects of the style resided in Lolita's character. Both the style and Lolita's character took inspiration from Victorian era literature as well, where a coquette was a flirt of the high class basically. And to sum up this culture, um, it centered around the mindset that you were caught between childhood and adulthood, where even though you were an adult, you still look and acted very sweet, innocent, and feminine. And because of the book's inherent sexualization, um, it's important to note that Japanese Lolita styles and subcultures were strictly unsexual, and people who were part of this subculture did not claim anyone who used it for sexual purposes. But later on in 2014, it was found that Tumblr would steal a lot of inspiration from this subculture, and it did, creating the nymphette style. Um, unfortunately, though, um, this style brought Lolita Lolita's sexual connotations into its aesthetic, and based off the idea that young women can be sexually manipulative, a nymphette was someone who liked older men and was very flirty. It uses those feminine and innocent and revealing styles and uses them in the name of sexualization. Of course though, as any other style on the internet, there was a community dedicated to the non-sexualization of the aesthetic, which made the lifestyle aspect of this style differ from one person to the next. And of course, as Tumblr goes, there's a lot of music associated with this style, um, including Marina and the Diamonds, Melanie Martinez, of course, you know, and Lana Del Rey. Which is how we move on to the current Coquette style. Coquette basically takes all these ideas from Nymphette and focuses it into mainly aesthetics, and it takes a lot of musical inspiration from Lana Del Rey. More of a laid-back version of Nymphette, and the ideal Coquette girl is one who may be like a female manipulator, uh, but not necessarily in a sexual way. She's flirty, she gets what she wants, and she's very casually, very feminine. Cute scene, loves all things pink. As this quote puts it perfectly, Coquette manages to combine simple yet ornamental, classy yet playful elements into its style. So while Coquette has used Lolita and Nymphette as large inspirations, it takes from a lot of others as well, like in current day, um, including like Heroin Chic from the early 2000s, Soft Grunt, other vamp aesthetics, and basically anything fairy-esque. Okay, so that's how Coquette came to be. Like the styles themselves have very interesting histories, like goes back all the way to like Victoria era literature, um, and of course everything Every current day style resided somewhere in 2014 Tumblr. Somehow it was a crazy place there. But now that we've got that over, let's get into the wardrobe. Here is a little peek at the wardrobe. And so let's go through all the pieces. First, we have some low rise jeans, and specifically the flare low rise jeans. It just like kind of adds a little touch of femininity. And then a good old white tank with lace on it. I have the little lace trimming at the top of my tank. It might be kind of hard to see in the video, but yeah, with the low rise jeans, it just gives a very feminine, kind of sexy look. And then quite literally anything pink. I have these two pink sweaters. This one's from Bernie Melville and it's like a knit and then this TNA one and it's like a hoodie style. And then your perfect mini skirt. This one is a black one that I thrifted and if you're trying to get fun with it, 
add a little corset top on it, something that's very feminine like this. And then I wanted to add a little cardigan over top of it as well. I think a good classy looking cardigan is really such a coquette basic that you need, honestly. Or just, you know, need if you're not coquette. Anyways, and then I love a good floral dress and of course I chose a pink one. I think floral dresses just add like a cutesy vibe to it. Here are the outfits that I made. But now you're wondering, where do I shop for the coquette aesthetic? Well, I do have a couple of options for you, although it's not very many, but for clothing, Brandy Melville is going to be your best bet. And I know that they're not inclusive and they're actually a very controversial brand, but they really do have like the coquette aesthetics. They have the lace tank down and just like that very like dainty floral clothing. But uh, some other options are also Urban Outfitters, even though it's very expensive. They do a very good job at having very intricate like lacy pieces and stuff like that. Very feminine, very frilly. Another one that I came across was Love by Venus. Although it is kind of expensive, but it's not like the most expensive thing in the world. When it comes for accessories though, I would definitely suggest H&M or even Shein. Um, it's kind of hard to sometimes to find these kind of accessories unless you're going to somewhere that has everything like H&M and Shein, but they do have really good like really socks and headbands and stuff like that. Of course, I'm always going to suggest thrifting and if you want a couple tips, definitely check the lingerie section and the tank tops and then also look for baby tees in the little girl section. Those are my tips for you guys. So for makeup, I feel like the coquette aesthetic is very natural and then some blush. This is the Florence by Mills cream blush. I really like this blush. It's so easy to layer so it can give you the very rosy red cheeks that you need for the coquette aesthetic. And then obviously you have to go with some lip gloss. I love this Glossier one, but if you're really balling, the Dior one is great as well. And of course, it's not really makeup, but you always have to have perfume. Okay, so for this first hairstyle, we're going to just be braiding our hair super quickly. I just did a simple braid i didn't do a french braid or a ditch braid or anything just a plain old braid and since i have thin hair i just like pulled the braid out a little bit to give it some volume and then we're gonna put a ribbon in it so i just laid the ribbon flat under the elastic and then i quickly tried to pull a knot over top of the elastic right there. You can just leave it like that or you can put it into a little bow like I did here. And obviously this hairstyle is super cute and feminine and girly and that's why it's very coquette. For this second hairstyle we're just gonna put our hair into like a mid-level ponytail and then we're going to make a hole and then pull it up and through and then pull that tight and if you have thick enough hair you can leave this as a ponytail if you want honestly or if you're like me and you have thin hair and it shows you can just put a claw clip over it and it creates like a cute little like 90s little ponytail and i just think it's so girly and you know still the same thing very feminine very girly very cutesy and i really like this one this one's easy peasy breezy And then for the last one here, we're just going to do a little half updo, so take half of your hair. And then we're going to do that same little pull through that we did last time. And of course, my hair is going to show some spots, and I still think that this looks okay if you have thin hair like me and it shows. 
but yeah and then we're just gonna put on a cute little headband over top of it i think um this hairstyle holds up without the headband as well which is what i like as someone with thin hair and yeah you can see that it does like kind of show a little bit but i honestly think that that looks cute it kind of gives it a little bit more volume more dimension Okay, so I guess that that's the end of this video. We kind of went through all the things that you're going to need to start out with the Kakat aesthetic. This is just a starting guide. Um, you can really make this aesthetic your own, which I really love. So yeah, and you guys really liked my downtown girl aesthetic video as well. So that will be linked down below. And while you're at it, make sure you like and subscribe as well. And let me know what aesthetic you want to see next. I do have a couple in mind, but I want to know what you want to see. So let me know down below and I will see you guys next time.